In this video, we'll see how to design precision half-wave rectifiers using operational amplifiers. You must be familiar with the normal half-wave rectifier. It just consists of a diode connected to the input. Assuming the diode to be ideal, the circuit allows either the positive or the negative half-cycle depending upon the orientation of the diode. In this case, we obtain the positive half-cycle on applying a sinusoidal input. For such an ideal half-wave rectifier the transfer characteristic looks like this. However, when we consider a practical diode, then it will conduct only when the applied input voltage exceeds the threshold voltage VT. Hence, in this case the output waveform looks like this, where the peak is slightly less than the ideal rectifier. Similarly, the transfer characteristic looks like this. Hence, this circuit will fail in small signal applications. If the input voltage is smaller than the threshold voltage, then we will not get an accurate output. To overcome these limitations, we use a precision half-wave rectifier. The circuit looks like this. When the input voltage is greater than zero, then the amplifier output voltage Vx is positive and hence the diode conducts. As a result the circuit becomes a voltage follower and Vout is equal to Vn. As we saw earlier, in a normal half-wave rectifier, the diode conducts when the input voltage is greater than Vt. However, in case of a precision half-wave rectifier, the diode conducts when the amplifier output Vx is greater than Vt. That is, when Vn is greater than Vt by A, where A is the gain of the op-amp. For high gain op-amps, this value is very small and can be assumed as zero. When Vn is less than zero, Vx is negative and the diode is reverse biased and hence stops conducting. Thus, V out becomes zero. Therefore, we obtain an output exactly like an ideal half-wave rectifier. This is the reason why the precision diode circuit is also called the superdiode. A precision half-wave rectifier with some gain can be easily constructed by introducing appropriate feedback resistors in this circuit. In this case, when V in is positive, the diode conducts and V out is given by 1 plus R2 by R1 into V in. Unfortunately, this circuit also has a limitation. Consider the case when Vn is less than zero. Vx is negative which makes the diode reverse biased. Hence, the negative feedback of the circuit is broken and Vx saturates to minus Vsat, which is large in magnitude. Now, when Vn becomes positive, the op amp takes some time to change Vx from minus Vsat to some positive value. Due to this, if the circuit is operated on higher frequencies, the output gets distorted. Therefore, we somehow need to stop the op-amp output from going to minus Vsat. This issue can be solved by using another diode, which will be placed in the feedback loop. Now, whenever D2 is reverse biased, D1 is forward biased, thus maintaining the negative feedback. Therefore, Vx settles to a voltage very close to ground. Now when Vn becomes positive, the op-amp output quickly goes to some positive value. Hence, this circuit is known as the fast precision half-wave rectifier. Precision half-wave rectifiers can also be built using an inverting amplifier as shown. The same can be converted to a fast precision rectifier by introducing another diode and feedback. That's all for the precision half-wave rectifier. If you have any doubts, please ask in the comments section below. 
Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.